Hi, everyone. Uh, good afternoon. So uh, today I'm talking about uh, uh, basics of uh, UI design. So in this session, uh, I'm going to cover uh, a couple of the uh, topics, uh, which is uh, a flow diagram and uh, visualizing the uh, requirement, uh, which is uh, can be any sort of the uh, sketches or diagram, any any sort of uh, visually communicate uh, what actually uh, can uh, uh, try to give the look for the uh, UI, and we can talk about the uh, UI components. So, uh, which uh, UI components uh, communicate effectively, and how we can pick from the uh, in the current. Uh, uh, world. So uh, let's uh, start with a flow diagram. So uh, before going to start uh, flow diagram, what is actually communication? So uh, any any uh, UI or UX, uh, uh, any sort of the uh, communication is more effective uh, for the end user. So uh, this is one of the uh, research uh, done. So 64% uh, uh, communication is more effectively uh, we can grab the attention for the user. So there is a, so much importance of the uh, communication in the UI. So uh, 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 before uh, going to uh, start uh, uh, sort of the uh, uh, flow diagram, so I would like to uh, start with the user story. So uh, why I'm uh, taking the user story, so uh, we can easily uh, connect uh, uh, dots, uh, how to create a uh, diagram, uh, flow diagram, how to create the uh, visualizing the these uh, user story, and how we can uh, communicate uh, effectively using uh, UI components. OK, so here, uh, one of the user story, uh, it is uh, 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 describes the uh, uh, user, so the user is uh, easily able to go uh, the live streaming, so various uh, features and uh, interact with the live session. So this is the simple user story. So uh, any user story, so it it has uh, some uh, uh, users, right? So these are the users. So uh, the users are defined. My user uh, scenario is defined. So precondition and acceptance criteria is uh, uh, not much needed. So uh, the main criteria is uh, I need to uh, define the users. What are my users and what is my user story? So now I have a story. I have a uh, audience. Now how to connect uh, dots? Because uh, the st a user story is uh, uh, described in a paragraph or text format as a BA, how can I communicate uh, these user story in an effective way for the uh, rest of the team and or the stakeholders? So one of the way is flow diagram. So uh, I think everybody knows about uh, flow diagram. So the flow diagram uh, has uh, so many uh, uh, shapes where uh, you can know uh, the diamond shape uh, describes the yes or no, uh, where uh, uh, the user uh, sign ins, this is the direction. If it is not, so another direction. So, so this is a typical scenario where uh, uh, flow diagram start and end, and there is a conditions. But uh, today I'm not talking about uh, this uh, flow diagram, so I'm uh, giving the new. Uh, a diagram which can be easily communicate anybody uh, uh, if uh, they don't have any knowledge. So this is called uh, UFT. So what is uh, UFT? UFT stands for Universal Flow Diagram. So what are the rules uh, if I want to create a uh, flow diagram uh, based on the story? So I started with a story. OK, I have a story. Now, using this UFT, how can I draw flow diagram? So there are three uh, rules, where the first rule is the landing page. 
so it should start with the landing so any any uh, flow diagram if i'm going to draw that should be start with the landing page or home page this is the first rule and second rule is the simple arrows connected which each step okay and the third rule is the end in the mind so what is end goal for the user story so these are the three uh, main rules for the creating uft so we can uh, go back to the uh, what is my user story so i know uh, as a user i should able to navigate through a live stream and use the various uh, features of the live streaming okay so this is the typical user story now i want to create a uft okay now i'm jumping to uft so as i told there is a three rules one is landing so my uft start with the landing page okay and end goal will be event booking so i have a two points as uh, i described a first rule now i'm connecting uh, these dots from landing page to end so here i have a two uh, navigations which is uh, by uh, menu or any any sort of uh, navigation uh, which is available in my application so i am describing uh, whatever the possible ways there are only two ways i can reach this end so i am uh, listing the all the possibilities from my user story uh, i am describing the channel and events these are the typical two flows i can go to the next level so for example i am going uh, from the channel where i can see the vocal enthusiastic and where i can jump into the music uh, fanfare so this is the one route and another route events then i'm going to jump into scheduled events if it is a saved events if i am a, a repeated uh, user so i can see that is also you have to describe where uh, the typical scenario if we are talking about scheduled events then i'm going to the same point so these uh, steps you have to describe uh, to make a uft universal flow diagram so then from here i want to book there is a two options i want to book and save for later so what it means i can go come back again and book my whatever the saved events so now i have an option payment then book so this is the entire uh, typical uh, uh, flow whatever the ba is understand whatever the uh, uh, story is written in the uh, detailed manner in the text format so i described all the steps whatever the possibility is but this is not the stick to the uh, the user story whenever you want to change any of the these steps you can include or delete so uh, that is uh, up to your uh, 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 whatever the demand is happening sometimes uh, uh, the client who don't want to these many steps he want to uh, make a, a simple flow you can uh, you can adjust these uh, uh, uft diagram okay now uh, i draw something okay whatever i have a user story i simply quickly jump into this uft created now my next step will be visualizing so this is also not uh, able to understand by the client or any developer or any any sort of the uh, designer so you have to communicate with the visualizing anything right so next step will be visualizing so i would recommend the pencil and paper is the most affecting tools to communicate anything by uh, or writing down all the uh, design so here uh, you can see uh, there is a blocks of the page so there is an image there is a event a detail title event uh, button uh, favorite and book or uh, navigation so this you can quickly uh, create so what is the advantage it is very powerful and effective less time to sketch 
if you want to draw the same thing in using any tool say for example uh, any any sort of thing you have to master or you have to learn something but uh, using a pencil and paper very easy and anybody can uh, able to draw quickly hey this is the user story uh, this is the scenario i created and uh, can you uh, create a high fidelity for this so uh, you are uh, articulating uh, a text format uh, uh, story in a visualizing manner okay so uh, uh, it is very simple and uh, you are suggesting this pen and paper uh, drawing the uh, sketches uh, is it uh, really using uh, in the real time world yeah i can give you the real time world who are using this is effectively using by the facebook twitter and uh, microsoft and google so whenever they want to uh, draw something in a, uh, a any story so they can jump into it quickly in a pen and paper draw something so uh, they share and they can communicate okay this is the a user story and I'm, I'm visualizing the uh, this is the uh, manner so is it correct is it uh, 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 really uh, solving the user story so uh, that is how uh, this is a very universal and everybody is using so the next uh, step would be describing so you uh, drawn something and uh, you have to describe so what are the elements say for example it is a home page uh, you, you are mentioning the banner uh, if it is a hero banner if it is a menu so each and L, uh, every element if you describe this is the uh, title comes in here this is the company uh, image comes here and this is a, a small text and this is the ctc action action item so these are the a uh, very uh, uh less time to draw using a pen and pencil paper and next if you are uh, uh familiar with some of the already freeware uh, uh, tools like uh, draw.io so where you can uh use these tools and drag and drop these uh, iphone frames and you can uh, create the components to communicate very effectively so this is the next level so this is up to you how to you want communicate the ui and uh, this is very helpful to share very quickly and this is uh, one of the uh, add on uh, uh, from the google uh, pack which is already uh, lm is providing and coming to uh, pen and paper, uh, so I suggest uh, A4 paper is uh, very easy and pencil and any color sketch pen is uh, very, very uh, helpful. Say, for example, uh, in this screenshot, so I drawn uh, one of the uh, area where uh, it, is, it has a picture and it has a logo and it has some uh, other elements navigation sign in sign up and every element if you draw some arrow and describe hey uh, i'm i'm thinking this could be a, a user uh, uh, a name and picture so you can uh, describe what is this and you can describe okay this is the main hero uh, image and uh, you can describe uh, this image uh, could be uh, this is, is uh, sizes and uh, you can describe this is uh, uh, where the video play and you can describe the uh, this is the component for uh, selecting uh, these these the events and this is the area where i can uh, favorite and go back so uh, it helps uh, the next level of the team members can easily uh, uh, understand without the uh, making uh, uh, too many uh, for, uh, forward and backward uh, reaching out to you to hey, what is this means uh, what is uh, actually you are trying to communicate so this is the effective way of the describing with the arrows uh, every element in the uh, design so uh, this is another uh, set of the design uh, we try to communicate uh, using same uh, 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 pencil and paper so i drawn uh, some of the uh, flows and using sketch pen so i'm just highlighting the uh, ctc's click to action items 
So, uh, and describing the flow. Say for example, uh, I, I drawn four screens. So it describes uh, uh, where I can select and go back to uh, one of the screen and select and say, okay, then I'm jumping to one of the uh, screen. So if you draw uh, side by side and uh, make a arrow connections, so it, it, it gives us a whole story uh, for the scenario. So that is the advantage of the uh, paper, pencil, and using a sketch pen. And once you're done with this, so how can I uh, uh, share the team? So is there any way? Yeah, there is a, a tool called Adobe Scan, where you can install it, it is a free, freeware in your mobile. So you can take a picture and where you can uh, uh, write off all the any elements if you want. You, you can tweak uh, some of the elements and you can share across the team. So this is uh, one of the uh, very uh, easy. And coming to uh, elements. So uh, elements are play, uh, placing any, any uh, sort of pages. Say for example, I have a page and placing the, all the elements it is always communicating the users what I can do with this page, okay? So if you are randomly uh, uh, placing the components, say for example, uh, I'm, I'm placing the uh, hero banner uh, at the top left and I'm keeping the some of the menu items in the right section. So it is also communicating, okay, I can go on the right side and uh, uh, click on menu if I want to go. So the same thing, if you move it to the left side of the page, that is also communication where I can go here and click. But uh, there is a way of the communication using this effectively. So uh, if you use uh, uh, trendy components, trendy elements, it is more effective way of uh, giving the user to use very less time to achieve the goal. So I recommend uh, one of the material UI where you can go and explore the lot of components. Say for example, uh, nowadays uh, any any UI uh, components are uh, not traditionally uh, 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 evolving. Say for example, uh, in this scenario, multi values where I can start uh, typing, I can get the suggestion. Then I can pick from that list. Then it is uh, uh, giving as a one of the reference where uh, I can see always. If I want to uh, close, I can just click. It will uh, go from my list. So this is not a, a, a traditional way. This is a customized components. There is a powerful uh, uh, interaction. So use try to use these kind of uh, uh, modernized uh, UI components to make it very uh, robustic uh, interaction. Okay, so uh, coming to uh, uh, overview. So uh, uh, we know how to uh, flow diagram using uh, 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 different tools and use a story and visualizing the requirement and using pen and pencil and try to add the component so that it fulfill the uh, complete uh, uh, user story from to uh, end user. So yeah, that's all uh, about uh, basics of UI design. So any questions? Hello, am I audible? Yeah, Om Prakash, uh, yeah. just uh, just a query. You talked about that material UI or something. Is is that a tool or something which is used for, um, you know, mocking up those UI components? Uh, 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 no, uh, I give an example for the okay. uh, try to use that uh, uh, modernized uh, interaction. 
okay but rather than uh, traditional say say for example uh, traditional uh, uh, components are not effective way of uh, use the same interaction which i showed in our uh, past uh, slide okay okay so uh, if you are communicating any any sort of the uh, interaction try to explore what is available in the market so that you can use get rid of the so many clicks okay okay yeah okay. that is advantage Okay. Uh, uh, Omkar, one more question: How do we, how how do we, uh, you know, in most of the user stories, uh, of course, the diagrammatically we can talk about the interactions and we can show the different uh, diagrams. But uh, how do we describe those components in the user stories? Uh, is there any way? Uh, is there any common terminology that we use? Say, for example, like uh, hamburger, meatballs. Uh, is is there some terminology which has to be used uh, for describing those components in the user stories? Uh, there is no specific terminology. Okay. Uh, if you if you have a, a story, so uh, you know uh, what uh, actually uh, the user is going to do with this uh, user story. Okay. okay. So uh you have a already application so this is one of the user story you have to fulfill then mm -hmm. you 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 are trying to create the flow diagram so why i am recommending to create a flow diagram is uh, you are including this user story with the existing application okay so this flow diagram uh bring all the possibilities uh, uh whatever the navigation okay you can build there using uft universal uh, flow diagram okay so uh, if you are not connecting this user story with the existing uh, uh, application flow again it is uh, very difficult to to, uh, to uh, arrange these uh, uh, flow with the uh, user story so it is uh, always try to uh, create the user story so that uh, you can understand okay these are the navigation i i have uh, right now in the my application i'm drawing so this is the my end code so how i am connecting so once i connect it then create the ui so whatever the ui you feel so that uh, you can uh, visualize and communicate again with the team or anything so that it is really connecting with the application or not Hi, Prakash. Yeah. Man, I think just taking uh, Madhu's point further, uh, I think what he meant to ask is so many times, I understand you're asking us to create a story and all that. So yeah. the flow obviously establishes like the data points, how the data flows go, how the functionality flows. And then the screens is a visualization of how the screen so that the business gets a picture of what uh, we are proposing. But yeah. then from what happens from the DA point of view, right? We like for, like he said, right? We call it a hamburger menu. So sometimes we call it three dots. There are three vertical dots, three three uh, horizontal dots. What do we call it? We need to understand, or at least an ind industry terminology, which would mm -hmm. have like speak in the sense that a UI person will understand it, a BA would understand it, as well as a client would understand it. We want that kind. Of, we were like hoping for that kind of uh, you know UI jargon per se, so that uh, you know when we represent it in stories or in diagrams. Everybody is using the same language. Otherwise, it takes, even though if I'm drawing that on pen and paper, what essentially happens is I again have to explain to the UX person because he's not, I've called it something else, like uh, probably I've called it something else and he's not understanding it, right? Mm. Yeah. So if we could get a, I mean, if you, if you don't have it right, maybe for the next session or maybe you could just uh, direct us to some links which, uh, you know, could we could familiarize ourselves with the very basic, like, for example, in, in your uh, presentation, you gave, you said you know a hero banner or a hero yeah. image so mm. we don't know like for me i mean i understand but any other if you can ask this forum they will not know what a hero image is yes yes yeah so something like that just the main parts of like the main ui components what are the different types that can of controls basically if i can say that uh what are the names that we could call it a common industry standard names not like any specific yeah the uh, uh once yeah, thanks karuna for uh you know elaborating it uh what 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 i meant exactly was that that uh how do we communicate of course in in a diagram we can have those dots but when we are presenting it to the user or uh, you know or presenting it to the or 
talking to the person because most of the time it happens verbally with yeah. with the image so right. and and when we put it in the story also we need to say that you know when he clicks on say we usually use the, all those meatball uh, uh, you know analogies so yeah yeah so but most of them do not understand that then we'll have to go and show them through the visual diagram and as you rightly said yes visually is the that's the only way you can show show a ui but yeah. to describe a ui also uh, if we have a kind of a common terminology it would help okay yeah so uh, uh, there is a, a tricky uh, in the technology so mm -hmm. the terminology is keep changing say okay. say for example i said hero banner and have yeah. more there so a few of the well standard but a few of the well uh, going forward is is keep changing Okay. So, uh, as I uh, mentioned in the earlier uh, screenshot, where uh, mm -hmm. let me go back to my where the screens here. This is the screen where I, I am uh, describing the keeping the arrow. So, what actually it is meaning? Uh, as you said, so uh, if you want to uh, give it a, uh, a descriptive manner, it is very helpful. So, okay. uh, it is always uh, communicating. So this step is very crucial. So if you create any sort of uh, uh, this design, OK, it is not giving anything uh, because it is just a standard uh, screen. But mm -hmm. if you are describing with the arrow pointing that, hey, this is a, uh, this is the action, this is a uh, description, this is a thing is going to happen with the next uh, click. So okay. they can understand. So no need to use any terminology uh, which is complex. Use mm -hmm. a simple uh, uh, terminology where mm -hmm. uh, uh, everybody can understand. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Is there a list of library of UI components uh, which are available, which 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 keeps uh, which you keep updating or learning made users a set of you know these are the components and this is how the components should be uh, uh, if it is I say a drop down or if it is a um, uh, you know defaulting of a date time. So is there any standard for UI components? Uh, standard, uh, I, I, can, I cannot uh, say there is a standard because uh, okay. it is keep uh, moving every, every decade. So okay. uh, say for example, in this uh, UI component, so I never seen this, this kind of component uh, uh, previously. So okay. Okay. these are uh, uh, looks like complex but mm -hmm. when you are start using so it is very very powerful so uh, mm -hmm. you can you can follow whatever the uh, any any design system which is available mm -hmm. but uh, right now i'm i'm uh, giving this is one of the example material ui uh, okay. which is uh, widely using oh, so okay. uh, you can you can see in the left section where uh, how the auto complete button and button group checkbox is uh, you can go and explore here you can see okay. the lot of uh, uh, modern components how it is uh, working. Okay. But uh, uh, as I uh, already uh, mentioned, that uh, modern components are more uh, effective than traditional. Okay. Yeah. So this is the best example where you can pick and uh, explore, and you can uh, anyone uh, uh, reach out to me. I can help you to how to uh, uh, make a components or uh, any any sort of uh, a design. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Om Prakash, I just came across something. If you could just open it for, I mean, the benefit of uh, everybody. Uh, it's. Uh, I think this is what we were expecting, and you just let us know if this is good enough for us to consume. Like, can you just click on the link? Uh, within the meeting. The meeting. <clears throat> okay. So something like this, which just sort of helps us understand UI language. OK, complete UI glossary. OK. Yeah, yeah. Like if you just scroll down, right? Uh, if like you can accordion. Control, you have accordion, then you have, so you have donor menu, like you have uh, uh, your hamburger, bento menu, breadcrumb. So like when we speak breadcrumb, right, many developers mm. might like uh, sometimes, like I mean, breadcrumb is pretty uh, like, uh, layman 
but uh, you know other things like uh, if we could just is this something we can refer to as a uh, this because it seems pretty standard yeah yeah uh, whatever uh, i am seeing these elements are available whatever the i described so okay. where it is just listed and describing where uh, uh, whatever i uh, propose this one where you can interact actually yeah yeah those are um, th this is like uh, essentially your ui components within a system where you can you have uh, like functionality built in mm -hmm. right so yeah. but the depiction of that what do i call it what is the name of the ui component what you are showing me here is a custom ui component right or an autocomplete it's actually autocomplete is it can be represented in different ways i can have an input i can have uh, this so it can be represented in many different ways right yeah. mm -hmm. the the ui can be different right at the sorry the ux can be different but the ui control would still be called autocomplete right i will still call it autocomplete the way mm. i make it function is different mm. so that's the uh, this a slight difference which is uh, somebody is like asks the question yeah uh, hi everyone hi yep. Zina. i have a question for you Ankar. Uh, sorry yeah, yes. question, so sorry um so basically as for your experience in the past uh, if you could just tell us that as a UX person, uh, would you prefer or uh, would you like the BA to roll on you the wireframes uh, in terms of a rough sketch or a pen paper approach? So basically, see, I, I know that BAs have multiple mediums through which they can create a wireframes, right? So that yeah. some of the high fidelity diagrams can be then later passed on by the UX people. But to begin with, if they want to tell you or express you that this is how the flow should be, they are comfortable to do it via multiple prototype tools that we've got, right? One of the proto prototype tool is our traditional method that is you just uh, pick up a pen and paper and then you just try to you know create a visualization diagram that says hey this 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 a specific area is for image here would be the banner maybe somewhere else would be some other element so is yeah. that the, is that traditional way a more comfortable way for a ux person to churn out the uh, uh wireframes or high fidelity diagrams easily or do you guys rather prefer uh, the other way which is a typical, uh, you know, visualization software that we use, like Draw.io, Balsamic, or any any anything that is easily available. And I'll tell you, uh, that's one question. And the second question, rather, was that have you ever faced problems of uh, change in the flow diagram that was not getting incorporated through the pen and paper mechanism? Where, for example, if BA later, you know, gets into conversation with the stakeholders, they realize that there was a change in the flow. Now, how yeah. do I incorporate that feedback into the pen and paper mechanism? I think it would be a bit difficult, but I will like you to speak about it. Uh, yeah, yeah. There is a constraints with the uh, pen and paper. Yeah. Uh, if we want to... Uh, rearrange any of the elements, rearrange the flow, that would be, again, you have to draw. If you are, uh, you have to rub it uh, some of the area and you have to reconnect. Yeah. So uh, talking about uh, these uh, balsamic or any any sort of the tools, that is up to you. You can use it. Uh, there is no harm. That is uh, uh, very easy. But uh, I'm talking about the uh, pen and pencil it is very uh, easy. Everybody can afford it. Can he, uh, anybody can draw it? So that is uh, why I just suggested. And uh, yeah, if you want to uh, uh, do any sort of uh, uh, modification, say for example, you propose some uh, some of the flow and uh, diagram. So uh, there is a, a highly chances to uh, uh, modify uh, some of the area. You can communicate easily. Say, for example, uh, this is the existing flow. You can draw in a new paper a new flow. So that uh, mm -hmm. no need to uh, change the existing one. So keep it that as a reference. Hey, mm -hmm. uh, I draw this way. And I draw uh, another way uh, as after uh, some of the discussion. So uh, you have a two, two references where you can uh, 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 juggle with these two uh, 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 discuss, right? So that uh, uh, it helps you. So don't uh, make it a... Uh, uh, rub and modify the same uh, set of the diagram. Create a one more new, 
or it is possible uh, so, try so basically uh, try your experience talk. says that we should have some history of existing references always whenever you are trying to you know incorporate any new designs you should always yeah, keep yeah. a repository of all your existence diagrams as well that could be tracked as one of the you know uh, it it could be used for track management purposes yes, yes. when you can yeah, say yeah. older it was this and then there was one more version then there was another version and i think yes. this this brings us to a very big question that uh, you know i think the online way of doing it for example in draw.io uh, if mm -hmm. i realized i i had created one flow i i had already explained it to the ux people they were almost uh, you know trying to create the uh, wireframes in envision or any other tool whichever they were using and then i realized that there was a change in the flow and then i think uh, it would it would be very easy for me to do the real time update in the draw.io rather than i i think if if the version history was supposed to be maintained we can maintain it but i think in the online mechanism where you can just do the changes and then you do an effective communication to the respective ux people that this is the change that has happened so that they can incorporate the change so i think um, yeah i mean yeah. i've just got, got got a gist of uh, what would be because at the moment it sounds very um, easy uh, that okay there was just a one piece of workflow change but yes, in bigger yeah. projects the quantum or the velocity of the work is very huge um so in that case i just want to understand and what is the ideal approach that you would like to go ahead with but yeah that that really helps me to visualize thank you yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> that is a good point uh, raised by uh, hena yeah if it is a uh, uh, going iteration by iteration so it is very difficult to uh, manage these uh, sort of uh, screens which you already drawn so again you drawn and showed and uh, there is a, some again uh, the client is uh, uh, saying something or stakeholders or in a team is uh, in a dev is uh, not uh, saying something it is not possible from this flow to this flow so uh, what happens it is, is increase the efforts you are uh, whatever you are drawn so uh, it is ideally uh, keep a reference and do sort of the uh, a brainstorming and connect with the people and draw something so make a copy one two three sets ideally uh it won't take much uh three four five uh, ten sets of the ideation right so uh, very very first initial uh you 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 are presenting your way of uh, thinking okay hey uh i i visualize this way okay this is a uh, first uh, iteration i drawn you are communicating everybody so you are getting the inputs then you draw it then this is the next uh, stage where you are again uh, uh uh, displaying all the audience again uh, you might get uh, uh, very few because uh, this is a second iteration then you are giving the another iteration so uh, i don't think uh, not more than three iterations uh, a user story can complete i think yeah it solves the problem right yeah, yes makes sense yeah, yeah. So any, any questions? Not from my end though. Okay. Uh, okay. Everyone, yeah. so I am. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Parmita, are you talking? Hello, can yeah. you hear me all? Yeah. Yes. So I have sent a feedback form over the chat and uh, email too. So request all of you to kindly fill it up and submit it back so that uh, it can help the trainer to organize the future sessions more. Thank you. Yeah, sure. I will share it. I will share it, the recording. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for your input. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. Bye.